Hey everybody, it's Kamaragi. We're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we went around Crescent Isle and got our ship outfitted to go into Deep Sky, and look where we are! We're in Deep Sky right now. Oh man. And we got uh, two pieces of Valorium, and now we're going to dig up Fina's ship, which I just happen to know is right here. Ooh! The crane grabbed onto something. Pull it up. Pull it up. Da -da -da -da. That right there. Oh my god, that looks so good right there. That scene. I don't know why. It looks <laughs> it looks like something from Skyward Sword. It's just that style of art for some reason. We did it! It's Fina's ship! Great job! Aka, hurry and get in on board! Aye aye! Fina, you probably. you'll finally be able to get home with this. Yes, thank you very much! This means that I'll have to leave you. Don't cry, little Fina! It's not that bad! Oh, Fina, I... Whoa. Ah, what was that? There was an explosion off the port bow. Vice, something's coming. What? Oh, no! It's the loco in his uh, uh, mobile. <laughs> I found you, Vice. I still haven't forgotten what you did to my ship, the chameleon, at Ixitaka. This underworld will be your grave. I shall have my revenge. REVENGE! That was the ship that DeLoco was building at Dangrel. Aka, did you secure Fina's ship? Yes, it's on board already. Alright, all hands to battle stations. Here's our chance to finally rid the world of that psycho. Visibility is poor, so it'll be hard to hit him when he's far away. Try and attack from close range. Oh boy. <laughs> vice, vice, vice. The day for you to die is finally here. I'll destroy you and your ship and your crew and, and, um, I'll kill you. <laughs> you jerk. Okay, so yeah, this is another, uh, another underwater battle. So we have no idea when we should actually attack, and unfortunately this is a kind of a tricky thing. You, you almost have to pay attention to when he comes close to your ship in the cutscenes to figure out like when the best turn is to attack him. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the first time around is going to be the third turn, I think. <laughs> we'll soon find out. It's a pretty interesting battle, actually. Uh, what am I doing here? I don't know exactly. And I think his ship got upgraded more just more than just uh You know what I forgot to get on uh Crescent Isle was a new secondary cannon. I was watching that video back and I noticed I completely passed over it, but oh well. But yeah, uh his ship does a lot more damage. <laughs> in more than just his little hook thing. Nyeh. <laughs> See, he comes close right now. And then we're all boosh! And you like, take some damage, he doesn't have that much health, oh thank god. Is he still close? Okay, good. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> A what? No, no, no! How how could the chameleon be defeated three times? Not one time, not two times, but three times! This can't be, this can't be! This is all just a dream, just an illusion! I, I refuse to believe it! 
Admiral, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Admiral, are you alright? <laughs> this time, dear little Vice, I prepared something special just for you. It's not over yet, Vice. I still have one last trick up my sleeve. Fire the DeLoco Harpoon Cannon! No! Oh my god! Oh my lord! What was that? <laughs> I shall defeat you with my harpoon cannon, just like you defeated me! I'll get you this time, Vice! I'll get you! I'll get you! Oh boy! Round two! So he finally subscribed the idea that harpoon cannon is better than his terrible moonstone cannon idea. <laughs> you won't get away from me this time, Vice! Now, 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 I will kill you for sure! <laughs> Jeez, oh my god. Oh, I'm having too much fun today with his voice. Okay. So, now that he's attached to us, uh, I don't think we actually have to fire when he's close. We can basically just blast away. Unfortunately, he's going to be doing a lot of damage, too. So, um, yeah. It should be fun. <laughs> Um, 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 you know what? Let's focus and focus. Yeah, he does a lot of damage, so I should probably heal next turn. Freaking the loco! My harpoon cannon didn't work like that. Man, <laughs> his ship just doesn't have much health, does it? How could you miss, dude? I'm right here. Oh my lord. He needs new gunners. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Wow, really? He's missing every turn. Not that I'm complaining, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Better not have done any permanent damage to my hull. That looks awfully, uh, <laughs> awfully damaging. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? Just same old, same old. Uh, ma 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 ma. I definitely want to have Urala over here. Fina. Would you focus? Well. No, that would be stupid. <laughs> Never mind. Let's do. Jeez, I don't know, man. This? We can't stretch it very far. Ugh. You know what? Yeah, let's just have her use a deluxe kit or something. And Enrique can use the little uh, thing jigger. Yeah. Bowser Bowser. Hopefully Lice can take him out. He doesn't have too much health left. <gasps> yeah! Wow, that was easy. <laughs> you don't even have to use a Moonstone Cannon. Captain Stripe, Twin Turbo, and Magic Shell. Hmm. Yikes, this would be a bad place to go down right here. <laughs> Somebody help me! Somebody tell me this is just a bad dream! Oh! Oh, snap! Okay, well, I guess the loco's dead. <laughs> Yikes. It looks like that's the end of Bubblehead. Yeah, but that was a tough fight. If we took on too much damage, we would have been stuck down here. Well, we retrieved Fiend's ship. Let's get go back up. This place gives me the creeps. The Willies. 
Okay, so, wow. <laughs> yeah. He just exploded. Okay. And that's all we can really do down here, so I'm going to ascend. And I don't think it matters where you go up. See you later, Deep Sky. Wouldn't want to live there. Oh, thank you. Yikes. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know, like, all the fights early on, earlier on in this game, nobody really died. I mean, they would just get defeated and be like, Oh, I guess I'll change my ways. But he, he just exploded, and he's probably dead. And Gregorio's dead. People are sti starting to die, things are getting a little more serious up in here, so... Oh man. But hey, we got Fina's ship, so, uh, yeah. She can go back to her little home. The moon crystals. Uh, but before we do that, before we head back to Crescent Isle, let's go to Sailor's Island, because we actually have to get Enrique on his little journey home as well. We're gonna lose everybody, man! Man, what the heck? All my pal's companions, they just wanna say goodbye to me. That's not very nice. What is happening? What What is going on? What the heck? Blackbeard 2? No! His vow for revenge! <laughs> Captain Baltor, there's a really, really powerful looking ship coming our way off port side. It's that ship that everyone's talking about, the Delphinus. The one that the Blue Rug Vice commands. That's the one. <laughs> so, Vice, we meet again. This time, I'll have a little something special for you. All right, men, on the pride of the Black Pirates, kill them all! No, please don't, Mr. Baltor, please don't. Ah. Vice, Black Pirates dead ahead. Wait, hey, isn't that Baltor's ship? <sighs> Looks like they've done a little work on their own ship as well. Let's go test out their new defenses for them. Yeah, new defenses, right. I gotta admit, Baltor's ship looks pretty cool. <laughs> How do you like the power, the power of the new improved Blackbeard? This ship is equipped with nothing but the best stuff that stolen money could buy. It's the ultimate black pirate ship. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't. Well, maybe, maybe it is. Actually, maybe it is. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know if he really improved his defenses too much more, but he definitely improved his offensive capabilities, so he can do a good deal of damage. Unfortunately. Actually, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Shoot a torpedo. To land over there. And then... I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Focus? <laughs> Yeah, I'll just have a big attack on the second turn, and we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, Mr. Baltor. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, he vowed revenge, and he actually is trying to do it. Too bad his ship is not nearly as good as my new ship. Heck, we could probably just ram him and he'd be down. It's <laughs> an interesting looking island over there. Ow! Dude, stop it! You're gonna get an arc whale tor torpedo right in your mast. Ow. Yeah, look how much damage he does. <laughs> if you're not careful, he can take you out real easy. Let's see, we have a turn with a whole bunch of moonstone cannons, so that's basically the I win turn. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I'm going to be doing some other things before that. Including, but not limited to, all of this. So let's see. I'm also going to... Huh. I'm not entirely sure how much health he has, but... He's Sackbillin... Right... Yeah, might as well. And then we'll use Kerala. Or, I mean, Ural. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. That's what I meant to do. Yeah. So next turn, we'll definitely get a lot of hits in. And you'll be dead. You'll be dead. Oh my god, that hurts me. Please stop doing that. That's so cheap, man. <laughs> You shouldn't be able to heal that much health with just one magic ability. It only costs 6 SP. And even better, you can just use a complete kit and not use any SP. Boosh. Look at that, man. <laughs> only one... Only the main cannon hit him and he was almost dead from that. That's pretty bad. Oh, Baltor, Baltor, Baltor. Alright then, full speed ahead. Let's get behind him. Don't do that. Ice, Baltor's trying to get behind us. What should we do? So, this is where we draw on past experience with Mr. Baltor. And remember the first time we tried to get behind him, and it worked? But, uh, you gotta kinda assume he's a little bit more clever this time around. And you have to wait, because if you do this, he's gonna anticipate that. And then you'll be in trouble. So we're gonna wait and see what he does. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's wait for a minute. Alright, now's our chance. It's time to use my new strategy. Now I'll lure Vice to try to get... And try... Uh, uh, to try to get in behind me. And then I'll get behind him instead. I call this maneuver the Blackbeard's Revenge. Now, Vice, you will meet your doom. I didn't fall for your trick. What? What happened? Why aren't they following behind us? Captain, we're in trouble. The enemy ship just stood in place. We're facing the wrong direction now. Ugh! How could the Blackbeard's Revenge didn't work? That's that's impossible. How could Vice know what to do? Oh, come on, Captain. You gotta think of a better strategy than that. Yeah, true. And you're dead. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to murder you, but I'm going to. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Mr. Baltor, you are about to get vaporized. This is so overkill. <laughs> I can't even believe this. Oh my lord. <laughs> the, the beam is like as big as his ship. Oh my god. It's like War of the Worlds. I bet they all just evaporated in the dust and their clothes are just flying around. Timing valve, spherical figure, and hybrid wax. I should probably uh, use some of that stuff. Hmm. Bye bye, Baltor. Sorry. Curse you, Vice! How could you defeat me again? The next time we meet, I will defeat you. You will rue that the day that you cross Baltor. Good job, Vice. Seriously, that fool doesn't know when to give up, but at least he does not a quitter. Not only do you have the Armada chasing you, Vice, the Black Pirates are after you as well. You're quite popular. <laughs> this isn't the kind of popularity that, that I need. Well, I'm glad my last battle on the Delphinus was a victorious one. Enrique. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, Sailor's Island should be coming up soon, Vice. Let's go. Enrique, don't leave, man. What are you doing? Don't do that. Okay, let's use these items before I forget. Oh my goodness. Um... Uh, Captain Stripe, yeah. And 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 and. Uh, what else do we get? Oh yeah, we got a spherical figure, which is good, very good, actually. Look how much freaking magic defense I have now. What the heck? That's an insane amount. Oh my lord. Did we get a new deck? I don't think we did. We had a twin turbo, that's right. Um, um, um. Wow, 52% dodge? Although we would lose a lot of defense. Hmm. Nah. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess that's good. Stop messing around. Okay. Enrique, here's here's your departure. Here you go. Enrique, are you really going? I. I am the Prince of Valua. I must return to home to warn everyone of Galcian's plans. Gregorio was willing to give his life for what he believed in. I must do the same. You, all of you, taught me so much. About ships, about the sky, what it means to fight. And you taught me that there are all kinds of people in this world. People worth fighting for. People worth dying for. I want to protect them. All of them. I want to build a country where the people don't have to live in fear. Please forgive me for leaving your side, but I've got to save Valua. Okay, man, be careful. Be careful out there. You better come back and visit us at Crescent Isle someday. Crescent Isle someday. <laughs> Just fuse words together. <laughs> sure, I'll be back to see you, and for Princess Muigi. Darn right, she's gonna worry her head off, man. She's gonna pop right off. Enrique, be careful. Oodles of toodles, Prince. If you don't come back and visit us, I'm coming after you. Thank you, everyone. I'll never forget our travels together. Ika's the only one that waves. Ow. Oh. Man. What a bummer. Okay, well. We lost Enrique. But we also beat both Deloco and Baltor. So I think I'm just going to end this part here. And then, 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 next time we'll head back to Crescent Isle. And, uh, I guess say goodbye to Fina, too. Oh, man. So yeah, see you guys next time.